Two divisions are going overseas next week. The 95th Brigade is getting special equipment, explosives, etc. sent to them on immediate priority. Immediate? The two divisions tally with what I already know. There's a convoy leaving Westport towards the end of next week for the Near East. But the 95th Brigade? Where are they going? I don't know. Hmm. You'd better go back to Watercombe and find out. I can't do that. I made an excuse for leaving. If I went back, I'd be under suspicion at once. You'll have to send someone else. I have no one I can spare. It'd be madness for me to go back either to Watercombe or to the Ordnance Depot. Very well. There'll be other work for you to do. Report here daily by phone until I can give you instructions. Good day, Mr. Davis. Miss uh, Demons. Sit down, will you? There's some rather disquieting news for you. Your parents are in danger in Rotterdam. They're suspected of sabotage. How do you know that? Well, I have ways of finding out these things. Well, you mustn't fret. I think I've found a way to help them. I will do anything. I know that. You're going to see your young men in Watercombe on Sunday. Yes. Oh, please do not tell anyone. He sent that letter uncensored. I'm not supposed to know where he is. Yeah, I understand that. But uh, what has this to do with my parents? Miss Lehmanns, you can be very useful to me. Yes, Mr. Barrett. I want you to find out where his brigade is going. And when. Why do you want to know that? For a report I'm preparing. A report? I do not understand. A report for Berlin. I am a German. I do my duty as a good German must. The 95th Brigade is going on a certain exercise. You will find out for me what it is. I would not dream of doing such a thing. I am a refugee here. I've had great kindness from the English. I Miss couldn't... Lehmanns, are the English... Is your young man even of more importance to you than the health of your family in Rotterdam? Mr. Barrett. Do I need to speak more plainly? You will get this information for me on Sunday, or your family will be taken into protective custody. The order has already been issued. It can be cancelled if you provide this information. Nothing else can save them but... Nothing else, remember. Answer the shop, will you? Uh, good morning. You were getting in a book for me, Commander Bowen. Oh, yes, sir. I have it ready. That is right, I think. Information. Could anything happen to the brigade because of it? Happen? No, of course not. I told you it's for a report. That's a routine. Gosh, it's good to see you. So you are looking fine. You're not looking too well. After all the trouble I have taken. Anything wrong? Let's get out of here. Up on the cliffs, out of the way. A man ought to see where you are living. Good Lord, no. There'd be a hell of a riot who were found here. That's why I said to stop outside the village. Why? Bed tape. Do you mean because I am an alien? <laughs> you needn't look so guilty. No, it's because no one's supposed to know we're here. Is it so very secret, then? You'd be surprised. so wonderful today, so far from the war. And now we have to go back to it. We needn't pack up yet. 
I have to catch the bus. It is the last today. Oh, gosh, I forgot. Oh, we'll just make it. Um, may I come again next Sunday? We should be gone by then. Gone. Where? Well, those three ships in the river are ready to take us right away into the blue. Tomorrow. Well, I don't know exactly when. John, do you know what it is you are going to do? I'm just an ordinary soldier. I don't believe even the officers know until they get the mosaics. Mosaics? Yes, but don't let's waste precious time. Whatever happens, you needn't worry, darling. We're a picked brigade, we know our stuff. You ready? We cannot say goodbye, say boss. Say goodbye to me now. Darling. I hope you had a pleasant day. You know Mr. Davis, don't you? You can speak quite freely in front of him. Good evening. Yes. I trust you got the information I wanted, Miss Slemans? No, I did not. The owner does not know where they are going. Well then, does he know when they're going or where from? Straight from their camp. On board our ships out in the bay. I see. You're quite certain he doesn't know their destination? Quite sure. Not even the officers will till they get the... The what? Mosaics, I think the word is. Mosaics? Aerial photographs. Thank you, Miss Lehmanns. You'd better get home now before the raid becomes any worse. My parents. You'll be perfectly safe for the time being. Your case? Photographs are so damned hard to get. From them we can find the brigade's objective. We must get at least a portion of those mosaics, either identified ourselves or send it to Berlin. We've got a man leaving in 24 hours' time with some other information. Take this dental plate to London at once. Ask for an appointment with Dr. Walter. That's his address. This dental plate will introduce you. I hope I'll get back in time. I'll get back as soon as you can. If the shop isn't open, let yourself in with this. Yes. Night train for London leaves at 9.30. Mm -hmm. You should have plenty of time to catch it. Well, good luck. You told me that information was a routine matter. How did you get in here? Never mind that. The brigade is in danger. You lied to me. Not at all. Then why have you sent that man to London? No, he was going anyway. He was not. I heard all you said. That information is important. The brigade is in danger. John. And you told me nothing. Actually, I can hardly expect you to get that information if I don't. I'll have to wait.
Nothing incriminating was left there, you're sure of that? Positive. I've given you all his papers, and here's the transmitter. The police will assume that the girl murdered Barrett and then committed suicide. Now, about those mosaics? It won't be easy. If we steal a copy, it'll be discovered, and the operation will probably be cancelled. A copy must be borrowed, photographed, and then returned. You realize how urgent it is? Perfectly. Fortunately, the English are usually very careless about such things. Uh, well, if you look in about five o'clock this afternoon, I'll do my best to have your plate ready for you. I'm very grateful. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Mr. Vernon here, yeah? He's waiting, Doctor. Ask him to come here, will you? How have you been after the extraction? No pain, I hope? No, no, none at all. Ah, good. Well, let's have a look at things. Yes. Ah. Now, I've got an urgent job for you. We want a copy of a mosaic that's being sent to Waterton to the 95th Brigade. Gosh, that's a tough one. Yes, I know. They'll be preparing it now at the interpretation unit. Now, I suggest... Hello? Interpretation unit? Yes. Air Ministry? Which ones? For Watercombe? But I've already told the Air Ministry they'd be ready today by one o'clock. They'd be flown straight up. Quite, yes. And the Air Ministry copy? Wing Commander Kenton will fetch it himself. I don't know why there's any need for you to check up everything twice. Yes, one o'clock. Thank you. Good day, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Good. Yeah. Is that the Cafe Regal? Give me the hall porter. This is Wing Commander Kenton. Oh, you have? Splendid. Well, hang on to it, will you? I'll come round and fetch it and bring the other one back. What a bit of luck. Some fellow took mine by mistake, but has just brought it back. Good afternoon, Mr. Davis. I've got your plate ready for you. Splendid. Quick work. Unfortunately, no. I suggest you take one section only. The rest I'll burn. Barrett told me nothing about his courier. How do I find him? I've been in touch with Barrett's number two. Palmer's the name. I found his address amongst Barrett's papers. He'll be sending off a courier tonight from Westport. I'll warn him you're coming. Now, which is the most suitable section? You say you know this place. I was born there, sir. You will have no difficulty in landing your man on the beach. The harbour itself is more complicated. Mm. And you'd better go in with the main party. Very well, sir. And you'll be able to help them. And will you explain the general layout of the harbor to the CRE here? You can, uh, you can let the men know they're sailing tomorrow night. Yes, sir. For Arabia. <laughs> yes? Does Mr. Palmer live here? That's me. you better come inside. from Dr. Walter. Ah, uh, something for the courier. You're just in time. I had a job to keep him. This is very urgent. Don't worry, it'll get there. Good night. Good night.
can't keep you a minute now. Mm, I'm hoping you won't. I should be away till the docks before they start setting the town on fire. Go easy with those cigarettes. Ah, to hell. Fix it so it doesn't crackle. And I'll tell you one thing. I'm not the one to be taking any more trips to this country. Not for all the danger money in the Bank of England. We pay you well enough, don't we? Uh, it is little enough I get for the double danger I go through. There you are. Not bad. ARP lectures have their uses. More than the British realize. seen the three girls off to school. They look nice in their new summer kit, eh? Goodbye. The 95th Brigade sailed from Watercombe this evening, equipped for the tropics. Looks as though we've been wasting our time, Horn. Brigade is evidently joining the convoy going east. We shall know as soon as the mosaic arrives. Where is this mosaic? Is it due to reach Spain tomorrow morning? From there, it will come in the diplomatic bag. If it catches the morning plane, we should have it here in the afternoon. Capitulation to make sure there can be no misunderstanding concerning the call signs. The right battalion will land on beach A and will use the call Verne. The left battalion will land on beach B and will use the call Carlos. The center battalion will enter the harbor followed by the sappers and they will both use the call Martin. Brigade headquarters will use the call Drake. Now don't forget, the sappers have got a big job on the lock gates. They'll need all the time I've given them. We've just had confirmation that the bombers will cross the coastline just as the first landing is made. So they should be able to take care of any possible interference around here. Fine. If everything goes according to plan, the first flight of Verne should be at Beach A in three minutes.
Why could this? says landing successful, heavy opposition being encountered. Well, what's happened, sir? There'd be no heavy opposition there unless the Bosch knew something. Well, that's impossible, sir. Nothing's impossible.
ships too, by the look of it. The object of the raid has been achieved. Lock gates, oil storage tanks, harbor equipment were destroyed. One enemy submarine was put out of action. Our own losses, both in men and craft, were very heavy. The enemy had been warned. He was waiting for us. And although our troops fought throughout with great skill and gallantry, they were not able to effect the surprise that had been hoped for. They paid the price of bad security. The next of kin of casualties have been informed. Well, men, that's it. You can see the enemy is smart. He stops at nothing to get information. The people in this film did not intend to give away any information. But they were careless and their tongues were loose. Let's not make the same mistake. Heads up, mouths shut. <laughs>